Isaiah chapter 65, outstretched hands. I was sought by those who did not ask for me. I was found by those who did not seek me. I said, Hineni, Hineni, to a nation not called by my name. I have, I have stretched out my hands all day to rebellious people who walk in a way that is not good, following their own thoughts. These people provoke me continually to my face, sacrificing in gardens, burning incense on bricks, sitting among graves, spending the night in cave tombs, eating swine's flesh and the broth of detestable things in their pots is in their pots, who say, keep to yourself, don't come to me, for I am holier than you. These are smoke in my nostrils, a fire that burns all day. Behold, it is written before me, I will not keep silence, but will repay, even repay into their laps. Your iniquities and the iniquities of your fathers together, says Adonai, because they burned incense on the mountain and scorned me on the hill, so I will measure the into their laps, full wages for their former deeds. Thus says Adonai, as new wine is found in a cluster and one says, do not destroy it for a blessing is in it, so I will do for my servants' sake that I may not destroy them all. I'll bring forth offspring from Jacob and heir of my mountains from Judah. My chosen ones will inherit it and my servants will dwell there. Sharon will be a fold of flocks in the valley of Accor, a place for herds to lie down in. For my people who seek me, but you who forsake Adonai, who forget my holy mountain, who prepare a table for fortune, who fill cups of mixed wine for fate, I will fate you to the sword, and all of you will kneel to slaughter. For I called, but you did not answer. I spoke, but you did not hear. So you did what was evil in my sight, and chose what I did not in delight. Therefore, thus says Adonai Elohim, Behold, my servants will eat while you will go hungry. Behold, my servants will drink, but you will be thirsty. Behold, my servants will rejoice, but you will be put to shame. Behold, my servants will sing for joy with a happy heart, but you will cry from the pain of the heart and well out of a broken spirit. You will leave your name behind for as a curse for my chosen ones. And Adonai Elohim will slay you, but he will call his servants by another name. He who says bracha in the land will be blessed by the God of truth, and he who swears in the land will swear by the God of truth, for the former troubles are forgotten, because they are hidden from my sight. New heavens and new earth. For behold, I create new heavens and new earth. The former things will not be remembered or come to mind. But be glad and rejoice forever in what I am created for creating. For behold, I am creating Jerusalem for rejoicing and her people for joy. Then I will rejoice in Jerusalem and be glad in my people. No longer will the voice of weeping or the voice of crying be heard in her. her. No longer will there be in it any infant who live, an infant who lives but a few days or an old man who does not fill out his days. For the youth will die at a hundred years, but the one who misses the mark of a hundred may must be accursed. They will build houses and inhabit them. They will plant vineyards and eat their fruit. They will not build and another inhabit nor plant and another eat. For like the days of a tree, so will be the days of my people. And my chosen one will long enjoy the work of their hands. They will not labor in vain, nor bear, ch ch bear children for calamity. For they are the offspring of those blessed by Adonai, as well as descendants with them. And it will come to pass that before they call, I will answer. And while they are still speaking, I will hear. The wolf and the lamb will feed together. The lion will eat straw like the ox, but the dust will be the serpent's food. They will not hurt or destroy. And all my holy mountains says Adonai. Isaiah 66, tremble at his word. Thus says Adonai, heaven is my throne and the earth is my footstool. Where then is the house you would build for me? Where is the place of my rest? For my hand has made all these things. So all these things came to be, declares Adonai. But on this one will I look, one humble and of a contrite spirit who trembles at my word. One who kills an ox is like one who kills a man. One who sacrifices a lamb is like one who breaks a dog's neck. One who offers a grain offering is like one who offers a swine's blood. One who burns incense is like one who blesses an idol. They have chosen their own ways, so their soul delights in their abominations. So I will choose their punishments and bring on them what they dread. For when I called, no one answered. When I spoke, they did not listen. But they did what was evil in my eyes and chose what I did not delight in. Hear the words of Adonai, you who tremble at his word. Your brothers who hated you, excluding you for my name's sake, have said, Let Adonai be glorified, that we may see your joy. But they will be put to shame. A sound of an uproar from the city, a sound from the temple, the sound of Adonai fully repays his enemies. A nation born in a day. Before she was in labor, she gave birth. Before her pain came, she delivered a male child. Who has heard such a thing? Who has seen such things? Can a land be born in one day? Can a nation be brought forth at once? For as soon as Zion was in labor, she gave birth to her children. Will they bring the moment of birth and not give delivery? Says Adonai, will I who caused delivery shut up the womb? 
says your God, rejoice with Jerusalem and be glad with her, all you who love her. Rejoice for joy with her, all you who mourned over her, mourned over her, for you will nurse and be satisfied from her comforting breast. You will drink deeply and delight from her glorious abundance. For thus says Adonai, behold, I will extend peace to her like a river and the glory of the nations like an overflowing stream. You will be nursed, carried on the hip and bounced on her knees. As one whom his mother comforts, so I will comfort you, so you will be comforted in Jerusalem. You will see your heart will rejoice, and your bones will flourish like grass, so the hand of Adonai will be known to his servants, and his indignation to his enemies. For behold, Adonai will come in fire, and his chariots like the whirlwind to render his anger with fury, and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire and his sword, Adonai will execute judgment in all flesh, and those slain by Adonai will be many. Those who consecrate and purify themselves enter the groves, following after one in the midst. Who eats swine's flesh, vermin, and mice will come to an end together. It is a declaration of Adonai. For I know their works and their thoughts. It will come about that I will gather all nations and tongues, and they will come and see my glory. Then I will set up a sign among them, and I will send survivors from them to the nations, to Tarshish, Pole, and Lud who pull the bow, to Tubal and Javan, to distant islands that have not heard my name or seen my glory, then they will declare my glory among the nations. Then they will bring all your kinsmen from all the nations as an offering to Adonai on horses and in chariots and on litters, mules and camels to my holy mountain Jerusalem, says Adonai. Just as Benai Israel bring their grain offering in a clean vessel to the house of Adonai, I will also take some of them as priests and for Levites says Adonai, for just as the new heavens and the new earth, which I will make, will endure before me, it is a declaration of Adonai, so your descendants and your name will endure. And it will come to pass that from the new moon to another, and from one Shabbat to another, all flesh will come to bow down before me, says Adonai. As they leave, they will look on the corpses of the people who rebelled against me, for their worm will not die, and their fire will not be quenched, and they will, they will be a horror to all flesh. Jeremiah Jeremiah chapter 1, the call of Jeremiah. The words of Jeremiah, son of Hilkiah, one of the Kohanim who were in Anathoth in the land of Benjamin, the word of Adonai came to him during the days of King Josiah of Judah, son of Ammon, in the thirteenth year of his reign. It continued during the days of King Jehoiakim of Judah, son of Josiah, until the end of the eleventh year of King Zedekiah of Judah, son of Josiah, until the exile from Jerusalem in the fifth month. The word of Adonai came to me, saying, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you, and before you were born, I set you apart. I appointed you prophet to the nations, and I said, Alas, Adonai Elohim, look, I don't know how to speak, for I'm still a boy. But Adonai answered me, Do not say I'm only a boy. For to everyone I, everyone I send you, you will go, and all I command you, you will speak. Do not be afraid of them, for I am with you to deliver you. It is a declaration of Adonai. And Adonai stretched out his hand and touched my mouth, and Adonai said to me, Behold, I have put my words in your mouth. See, today I have appointed you over the nations and over kingdoms to uproot and to tear down, to destroy and to overflow, to build and to plant. Moreover, the word of Adonai came to me, saying, What do you see, Jeremiah? I answered, I see an almond branch. Then Adonai said to me, You have seen correctly, for I am watching over my word to perform it. The word of Adonai came to me a second time, saying, What do you see? I replied, I see a boiling pot that is tilting away from the north. And Adonai said to me, From the north the disaster will be poured out on all the inhabitants of the land. Behold, I am calling all the families of the kingdoms of the north. It is a declaration of Adonai. So they will come, and each will set up his throne at the entry of the gates of Jerusalem against all her surrounding walls and against all the cities of Judah. I will pronounce my judgments on them. For all their wickedness they have forsaken me, offering incense to other gods, worshipping the works of their hands. Now you, gird up your loins, get up and tell them everything that I order you. Do not be terrified by them, or else I will terrify you before them. Look, today I have set you up as a fortified city, an iron pillar and bronze walls against the whole land, against the kings of Judah, its princes, against its Kohanim, and against the people of the land. Though they will fight against you, they will not win, for I am with you to deliver you. It is a declaration of Adonai. Jeremiah chapter 2. Judah rebuked for her sins. Again the word of Adonai came to me, saying, Go and cry in the ears of Jerusalem, saying, Thus says Adonai, I remember the, devo the devotion of your youth, your love as a bride, and the way you followed me in the wilderness and the land not sown. Israel was kadosh to Adonai, the first fruits of the harvest, harvest, all who devoured him were held guilty. Catastrophe overtook them, it is a declaration of Adonai. Hear the words of Adonai, O house of Jacob, and all the families of the house of Israel. Thus says Adonai, What fault did your fathers find in me that they strayed so far from me? They walked after worthless things, becoming worthless themselves. They did not ask, Where is Adonai, who brought us up from the land of Egypt, and led us through the wilderness, through the land of deserts and rifts, through 
the land of drought and distress, to the land where no one travels, where no one lives. Yet I brought you into a fertile land to eat of its good fruit and goodness. When you came, you defiled my land. You made my heritage an abomination. The Kohanim did not ask, Where is Adonai? The Torah experts did not know me. The shepherds rebelled against me. The prophets prophesied by Baal and went after unprofitable things. Therefore, I plead with you again. It is a declaration of Adonai. I will contend with your children's children. Cross to the coasts of Kittim and see. Send to Kedar and observe carefully. See if there has been anything like this. Has a nation changed its gods, even though they are not gods? Yet my people have exchanged their glory for worthless things. Be appalled at this, O heavens. Be utterly horrified and dumbfounded. It is a declaration of Adonai. My people have committed two evils. They have forsaken me, the spring of living water, and they dug their own cisterns, crack cisterns that hold no water. Is Israel a servant, a slave by birth? Then why has he become plunder? Young lions have roared at him. They have roared loudly. They made his land a waste. His cities are in ruins and uninhabited. Even the sons of Noph and Tophanes have grazed in the crown of your head. Have you not brought this on yourself when he led you in the way? But now, what is on the road to Egypt, drinking the waters of the Nile? Or what is on the road to Assyria, drinking the waters of the Euphrates? Your own wickedness will rebuke you, and your backslidings will chide you. Know then and see how bad and bitter it is for you to forsake Adonai your God, nor is fear of me in you. It is a declaration of the Lord Adonai Zavat. Indeed, long ago I broke your yoke and tore off your bonds. You said, I will not serve. Instead, on every high hill and under every green tree, you sprawled out as a prostitute, yet I had planted you as a choice vine from completely faithful seed. How then did you become to me a wandering wild vine? Even though you washed with lye and used an abundance of soap, the stain of your iniquity is before me. It is a declaration of the Lord Adonai. How can you say I am not defiled? I have not gone after Balaam. Look at your behavior in the valley. Recognize what you have done. You are a swift young camel galloping aimlessly, a wild donkey used in the wilderness, sniffing the wind and her passion and her heat. Who can restrain her? All males that pursue her will not tire themselves. At mating time they will find her. Do not run while your feet are bare and your throat is thirsty. But you said, there is no hope. No, for I have loved foreign gods, and I will go after them as a thief is shamed and caught. So the house of Israel is shamed. They, their kings, their princes, the Kohanim, and their prophets, they say to wood, you are my father, and to stone you birthed me. They have turned their back to me and not their face. Yet when they are in trouble, they say, rise up and save us. Where are your gods that you made for yourself? Let them come, if they can save you when you are in trouble. For you have many gods as you have cities, O Judah. Why do you strive? With me, you have all rebelled against me. It is a declaration of Adonai. In vain I struck your children. They took no correction. Your sword devoured your prophets like a ravaging lion. You, generation, heed Adonai's word. Have I been a wilderness to Israel or a land of thick darkness? Why do my people say we are free to roam? We won't come to you anymore. Can a virgin forget her ornaments or bride her attire? Yet my people have forgotten me, days without number. How clever are your ways of seeking love? Therefore you even taught wicked women your ways. Moreover, on your skirts is found the blood of the innocent poor. You do not find them breaking in, yet in spite of all these things you say I am innocent. Surely his anger is turned away from me. See, I'll pass judgment on you since you say I haven't sinned. Why do you make a light of changing your ways? You'll be put to shame by Egypt. As you are put to shame by Assyria, you will also go out from there with your hands on your head. For Adonai has rejected those in whom you trust. You will not prosper by them. Jeremiah chapter 3. Unfaithful Judah and unfaithful Israel. If a man divorces his wife and she leaves him to be with another man, will he return to her again? Would not such a land be totally polluted? You are a prostitute with many lovers. Now you are returning to me? It is a declaration of Adonai. Lift your eyes to the barren hills and see. Where have you been not been violated? By the wayside you sat waiting for them like a nomad in the desert. You have polluted the land with your prostitution and wickedness. Therefore showers have been withheld and there has been no spring rain. You have a harlot's brazen look. You refuse to be ashamed. Did you not just now call to me? Avi, you are a friend of my youth. Would he keep a grudge forever? Would he keep it to the end? So you said, yet you, could, yet you have done all evil things you could. All the evil things you could. That Adonai said to me in the days of the king of Josiah, Have you seen what blacksliding Israel did? She went up at every high mountain and under every green tree, and there she committed adultery. Yet I thought that after she had done all this, she would return to me, but she did not return. Even her unfaithful sister Judah saw. I noted that when backsliding Israel committed adultery, I sent her away and gave her a certificate of divorce. Yet unfaithful Judah, her sister, did not fear. Instead, she also went and committed adultery. It happened that through her frivolous prostitution, she polluted the land and committed adultery with stones and with wood. Yet 
after all this, her faithful, unfaithful sister Judah did not return to me with her whole heart, but only sincerely. It is a declaration of Adonai. Then Adonai said to me, Backsliding Israel has proved herself more righteous than unfaithful Judah. Go, proclaim these words toward the north, saying, Return, backsliding Israel, says Adonai. I will no longer frown on you, for I am merciful, says Adonai. I will not keep a grudge forever. Only acknowledge your iniquity, for you sinned against Adonai, your God, and scattered your favors to foreign gods under every green tree. You have not obeyed my voice. It is a declaration of Adonai. Call the backsliding children. Return, O backsliding children, declares Adonai, for I am your husband, I will choose you, one from a city and two from a clan, and will bring you to Zion, I will give you shepherds after my own heart, who will feed your knowledge and understanding, it will be in those days when you multiply and become fruitful in the land, it is a declaration of Adonai, they will no longer talk about the Ark of the Covenant of Adonai, nor will it come to mind or be remembered, neither will it be missed or another one made again. At that time, they will call Jerusalem the throne of Adonai, and all the nations will gather into it to Jerusalem in the name of Adonai. No longer will they walk according to the stubbornness of their evil heart. In those days, the house of Judah will walk with the house of Israel. They will come together out of the land of the north to the land that I gave your fathers as an inheritance. And I myself said, how gladly would I make your sons and give you a pleasant land, the most beautiful inheritance of the nations. I thought you would call me Avi and would not turn from following me. Yet as a woman betrays her lover, so have you betrayed me, O house of Israel. It is a declaration of Adonai. A voice is heard in the barren hills, the weeping of and supplication of the children of Israel, because they perverted their way and forgot Adonai their God. Return, backsliding children, I will heal your backsliding. Yes, we will come to you, for you are Adonai Elohianu. Surely, help from the hills is a delusion, the commotion of the mountains. Surely, in Adonai Elohianu is the salvation of Israel, but the shame has consumed the labor of our fathers since our youth. Their flocks and their herds, their sons and their daughters, let's lie down with our shame and let our disgrace cover us, for we have sinned against Adonai Elohianu. Both we and our fathers, from our youth even to this day, we have not paid attention to the voice of Adonai Elohianu. <clears throat> 